Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony and Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron. I'm here to show you this 2014 14 plate Audi A7, 3 litre V6 by TDI Quattro S Line Black Edition, finished off in Daytona Pearl Effect Grey. Uh, this vehicle in particular has full service history and is a one owner vehicle, as stated on the V5 and the HPI report, and has 313 brake horsepower. First things first, we're going to zoom out and do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but on greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we can prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. So now we're getting back around to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car once again, but panel by panel. The near side front wing looks in nice condition. Both near side doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloys in nice condition but has light curving to the outer edge so the rotor outer edge here will be refinished prior to sale. Near side front tyre there's a high end Kumo with approximately 5mm of tread remaining. Moving down the near side now, panel work looks good. Very light mark, oh, in fact that's just come off with my finger to be fair. Panel work looks good. A couple of very light age-related marks that you expect that we'll do our best to buff out and touch up. Near side rear alloy. Uh, outer edge looks a bit better. We'll have the outer rotor edge refinished. Uh, a couple of light marks to just to note on the inside of the rotor as well. Near side rear tyre is nearly new again. Just trying to see the brand. Looks like a mid-range tyre. Nearly new. Good 6mm tread. Looking back down the near side now from rear to front. Near side rear quarter. Both near side doors look good and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. As you can see, plastics look good. Rear bumper with the factory parking sensors looks good. Very light, superficial mark. Just to be flat and polished and touched up on the offside rear corner of that bumper there. Loading area for the age mileage of the car looks in pretty good condition. Tail lights and tailgate looks in good condition it does have the electronic spoiler that pops up the rear screen with the factory privacy glass looks good and along the roof linings in nice condition as well looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front offside rear quarter looks good both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good offside rear alloy is brand new it's still a little bit of tire soap on there as you can see uh, rotor edge on this alloy again will be refinished prior to sale uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have both of the uh, both tires on the offside are brand new uh, so we're going to have those put on the same axle on the front prior to its new owner collecting it moving down the offside showing all panel work looks in good condition uh, again offside front alloy outer rotor face will be refinished prior to sale and this is another brand new tire uh, will stay there we'll move the offside rear tire to the uh, near side front corner prior to sale right looking back down the offside of the car one final look down the bodywork the offside front wing looks in good condition both offside doors look good and the offside rear quarter is good as well moving around the front of the car now we're going to check out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself as you can see, all lights and grills look in good condition. As for the age and mileage of the car, front bumper looks in good condition as well. One or two tiny marks that I probably can't even see on the camera that we'll polish up and touch in the best we can, but all looks well. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, paintwork looks in good condition on the bonnet. I can't point out any dents or major scratches. But again, as you expect, one or two, that's a watermark actually, one or two tiny, tiny marks just to be polished up and touched in with a genuine Audi touch-up paint prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. As you can see, no major damage. Can't actually see any chips or cracks. One or two tiny, tiny little surface markings. But other than that, looks in really nice condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior of the car, starting in the boot. We've got a power tailgate on this car, which is a lovely feature. Very large boot with 60-40 split folding rear seats, all carpets and plastics other than light wear and tear. 
look in good condition. These mats, if they're for this car and fits, a bonus is we don't supply floor mats with any of our vehicles. Split parcel shelf also looks in good condition and then all trims underneath the boot lid itself look good too. Moving through the interior, rear door cards look good. There you have the full leather rear bench with three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, and nice fixed fittings to both outer seats. All looking in really nice condition. Charcoal headliner throughout looks good. Backs of both front seats look good, and the rear carpets look good as well. Moving through the front, front door cards also in good condition. We've got S-line kick plates, front carpets look good. And there you have the front S-line leather interior. Both are still firm, holding their shape. Bottom one, if I'm being really picky, it's sagging slightly, but it is still in good condition. We do have the electronically operated front seats with memory positions on the driver's side. Passenger seat, as nice, if not slightly better. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Really nice condition. So we'll start the car up and run you through as much of the spec as we possibly can. Full electronic windows with electronic child lock control, electronic adjustable, heated and power folding side mirrors just show you them in operation now perfect working order central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle the two memory positions for the driver's seat i've already spoken about automatic lights and wipers in this car we have cruise control on the start just underneath the indicators up the center console we've got the fully adjustable leather armrest two usable cup holders all your MMI controls in the centre, including the quick touch pad, electronic parking brake with optional auto hold, and the keyless ignition. Automatic transmission, dual climate control, air conditioning, uh, front heated leather seats, recirculation rear heated screen, stop start, traction control, the electronic spoiler control, as a manual override there, and we've got full parking sensors with optical display. Now we're up to the MMI. As you can see, we've got DAB radio and a few other options. In media, we do have Bluetooth audio streaming and again, a couple of other options. Full telephone prep, and we've got satellite navigation installed as well. This is a Quattro model, meaning it's four wheel drive. We've got the upgraded Bose speaker system. And back over to the driver's side, we'll finish off with this S-Line leather-bound multifunction steering wheel with flappy paddles. And this car is on an exceptionally low 47,297 miles. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.